We bet you've always dreamed of traveling the world, experiencing different cultures. But let's be real. We all know finding hidden gems for gay people takes a little extra effort. Join us as we use Grindr to explore the world, connecting with locals who will offer tips and recommendations to uncover their city's best kept secrets. Welcome to Host or Travel. I really wanted to visit Zipolite to enjoy a peaceful environment away from the busy life I have in Chicago. Zipolite is a small beach town with an incredibly active grid. Hi Alex, I'm here on Playa del Amor waiting for you. Zipolite is a coastal gem situated on Mexico's Pacific coast. I'm so excited to explore this region and connect with the locals. Renowned for its bohemian and spiritual ambiance, Zipolite hosts one of Mexico's most unique nudist beaches, celebrated as a sanctuary for the queer community. This inclusive haven embraces and celebrates bodies of all shapes, colors, and sizes. I'm Alec. I'm originally from Houston, Texas, but I live in Chicago now. I'm really introverted, believe it or not. I'm a fake extrovert, but I love a travel buddy that's truly extroverted so they can make me do stuff. Hi, Alex. How Hola. are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. My name is Irena. I'm a performer, dancer. Welcome to Playa del Amor. No kidding. <laughs> oh my, like, we don't have this in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Cheers. Cheers. It's really cool to meet locals through the app and stuff. Sometimes it's really hard to find people in other, especially smaller towns. Yeah, Cipolite is the only nude beach wow. in all Mexico. Oh my God, I had no idea. And also Cipolite for locals is like, you can't uh, swim on the beach. Yeah. You need to be really good swimmer to do it. Oh yeah, not me. Be careful, <laughs> please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Serena had one last welcoming surprise, which I loved. A fire show in the middle of the beach that was the perfect start for my trip. After that wonderful sunset at Playa del Amor, I wanted to explore the nightlife of Zipolite, so I started chatting on Grindr with La Maga, who invited me to her drag show at La Maxima. Welcome to La Maxima. This is our bar. What do you recommend? Well, we have a drink that is called Rosita Borracha. Ooh. And it's made with tequila, no? Yeah, yeah. And it's great. I'll take that. Yeah, it's refreshing. Wow. Muchas gracias. <laughs> so as you can see, the magic of it is to be at the beach with drag show. Yeah. It, it main started for the trans community. Girls from north to south in Mexico come here to show their work. That's incredible. And the producer of La Maxima, she's a trans girl named Sara Conceta. La wow. Sensación de los Eventos. So how long has this been like a home for trans people? I think around seven years. Wow. Yeah, I need to prepare because I'm sweating my ass. Yes. <laughs> so enjoy your night Thank and you see so you much. after the show. Yes, I can't wait. Yeah. See you. I enjoyed the night and the Queen's shows because without a doubt, there's nothing I love more in the world than drag queen. The guy next to me was so bubbly. His name was Luis. I saw him on the grid when I first arrived, and then we enjoyed the show so much. If you do anything, this is it. Sit at the beach, go do that. Sit at the beach, go do that. This region is known for its rich culinary legacy. I'm obsessed with food, so I met up with Luis, who happens to be a chef, and he showed me his favorite restaurant. What are we cooking today? I'm gonna make two ceviches. Perfect. And two kind of tacos. Let's do it then. Let's do it. Okay, amazing. We made so many dishes I had never tried before, and he told me very interesting things about the traditional cuisine of this region of Alaka. If you want fresh things from the ocean, you got them. If you want things from the mountains, you got them. Yeah. You can find almost everything you want here. So this is more like a Baja California dish. That's why it's called taco ensenada. Oh, okay. Ooh, what's this? Ah, uh, chipotle mayonnaise. Wanna oh, try yes. it? Yeah. After the lesson, we tried some mezcal-based cocktails. My favorite was called Molindo, which was made with black mole. Wow. 
I've never had a drink like that, for real. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really didn't expect that I was going to have such a good time with oh, you. Because yeah. sometimes it can be a little you know, boring or lonely when you're here. I was going to ask you what your experiences were like using Grindr in a place like Zipoli there. Well, I think it helps you, you know, to find like your own group or your kind of vibe of people, yeah. you know? So it was really cool to get to meet you and find someone else that loves to mutually do the same thing. Yeah. Cheers. Salud. If this is your first time here in Zipolite, you have to get free, enjoy the moment, get naked. This is place spiritual, mystic, fantastic. Zipolite te desconecta, te pasa a otro plano más espiritual y siempre conectas con el mar. It's allowed for people to come and be themselves. No discrimina, no hay tabús, nada. Just being stressless, happy, easy. It's uh, very open-minded. Just this energy of being able to do what you want to do without being judged. After my cooking class, Serena texted me to invite me on a boat trip. She said that if I came to Zipolite, besides the beach, I couldn't miss an experience in the ocean. So they introduced me to her friend Oz, and we went on a boat ride. The captain shared very interesting tips with us. You are privileged because you're going to snorkel at a very private beach because it has no access. That playa has a beautiful coral reef with thousands of coral fish, so I hope you enjoy. Vamos! So that's our food in the mat. Bring your eyes, cover your nose. We had a great time. I think it's one of the best things to do here, especially with Serena. She seems to belong in the water. I love the experience, guys, but for the next time, we will need to get naked at the f ocean, okay? Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, seriously? Amiga. For my final night, I could not miss a good pool party. So I met up with lots of queer locals for drinks, music, and there are tons of surprises around here, so of course, an acrobat show. If you come to Zipolite and you find anything that we haven't done, please leave it in the comments below for anyone else that wants to come here.